It's important to understand the boot process because it provides several key pieces of forensic information and allows you, as a forensic examiner, to control the boot process to use forensic booting tools. Let's take a look at what happens when you boot a computer. When you turn on your computer, the power supply sends power to the motherboard, which in turn activates the boot process. The power on self-test post instructions are stored in a ROM, a read-only memory chip, as part of the BIOS, or the basic input-output system. The post runs through a series of tests to make sure everything is working. Most post sequences will have a combination of audible and visual messages to let you know what is and isn't working. These are the beeps that you generally hear when your computer is booting up. The post checks your video card. At that point, you will see information from the post on the screen. The post then checks to make sure it can find a CPU and that it's communicating. Then it tests your RAM. This is a very basic check of whether it can communicate with your RAM. Now it checks for keyboard and mouse. Depending upon the type of keyboard you have, you might see the keyboard's lights flash. At this point, you would normally see an indication on the screen of how you can enter the BIOS setup program on your computer. Each BIOS software vendor will have a different keystroke, but it is often either F2, F10, or the delete key. This vendor's key is F2, and we will enter BIOS setup. This is where important forensic information is stored, including date and time information and the booting order. Your computer can be set to boot from your hard drive first, or from your CD, or a USB drive, or even from the network. If you want to boot the computer with a forensic boot CD or forensic USB device, you may need to change the boot order. Lights on each drive will flash as the post checks them for booting instructions. Most computers are set up to check the optical drive first. This makes it easier to install new operating systems. Then they check the very first hard drive, drive zero. Post is looking for the master boot record. The master boot record is always at cylinder zero, head zero, and sector one. It points to the boot sector. Finally, post is done and the operating system takes over.